dear Commissioner Mr. Navracic, dear Mr. Uh, Minister for Culture of Luxembourg, the participants of the conference, ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly really grateful for your active and enthusiastic cooperation and participation in this international conference. Uh, the promotion and development of cultural and creative crossovers being the main topic of these two long and productive days is a, a, a strong priority of the Latvian presidency in the field of culture. And I have to assure you that it is also a strong priority for, for the Latvian government uh, in, in promoting a cultural policy and, and and uh, I, I hope uh, that, uh, in, uh, that uh, with the good ideas uh, we have heard from you, uh, we will be able also to promote the idea of crossover in the other uh, policy sectors, not only in culture. Um, we are very glad uh, to welcome uh, so many uh, participants with so diverse backgrounds from all around the Europe, authorities, the representatives of the states, the experts of the diverse sectors, academics and practitioners. And now I'd like to express my gratitude to the European Commissioner for Education and Culture, Mr. Tibor Novracic. Uh, the Commissioner, I'm very glad that you are here together with us in Riga. Your presence is very important uh, because we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> it is only beginning for us, this conference. <laughs> It's up to us uh, how uh, we will promote these good ideas, good practices um, into sustained mechanisms uh, uh, which uh, would feed creative environment of um, the European community and each country belonging to European uh, community. And it's up to us how we uh, um, feed back these ideas to um, my colleagues other ministers from European countries and uh, to the forums of our colleagues, ministers from other areas, ministers of finances, economy, or, or urban development, ministers responsible for competitiveness, ter territorial development, environmental issues, and so on. Um, and I'm happy that we have started at the European, uh, 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 European Union level the, this uh, um, um, uh, idea to link with other sector uh, that the um, Italian uh, presidency uh, linked uh, our cultural sector with the uh, tourism organizing joint roundtable with the ministers responsible for tourism uh, last Latvian presidency how to be successful in uh, meeting the council of ministers responsible for competitiveness and I uh, would like to um, wish uh, good luck to my colleague from Luxembourg, uh, Madame Nagel, uh, in her intentions to link with external development. Uh, and uh, I'm proud to say that the presidency trio uh, par partnership between Italy, Latvia and Luxembourg is a true engagement, working together and supporting each other's efforts and then I hope inspiring as well. Um, and um, I, as Latvian presidency, uh, we uh, continue, uh, we will continue the path aimed uh, to develop the concept of crossovers between culture and creative sectors and other sectors of economy and domains of uh, public life. Because I'd like to assure you that uh, we, um, Latvian presidency, uh, responsible for culture issues, we belong to the community that um, Ragnar very nicely called true believers. Uh, and here I'd like really to quote an idea of our great poet, Rhinis, which celebrated 150 anniversary, um, that, that only those uh, who uh, are able ch to change uh, uh, survive. And I think it's very precisely said for this uh, age, that it was said 150 years ago. In Latvian it is Pastaves uh, Kasparvetisis, but Latvians know very well this quote. And then uh, I would also like um, to um, remind you the, um, uh, the main keyword of the Creativity Week, in the framework of which we are uh, gathering to today, and the keyword is to create. 
And again, in Latvian, uh, this, uh, this keyword is very capable. In Latvian, uh, the keyword has two meanings. It is an action uh, inviting us to be creative, to create new products, new meanings. But uh, the, uh, uh, the word has also another uh, meaning. Uh, it means uh, uh, relatives. And I think it's something we were talking a lot uh, uh, during our two days, that we have to uh, uh, make uh, new relatives in other sectors. That culture should seek relatives in the areas of economics, territorial development, health, uh, education, and so on. And I think that only in such a big family uh, we can really uh, promote uh, in a practice all these great uh, ideas on sustainable uh, development, uh, uh, growth, uh, um, uh, good education, uh, um, people-oriented uh, welfare system, and, um, and so on. And I was very happy to uh, hear from the uh, Director General of the Culture and, and Education of the European Commission, Mr. Uh, Mr. Um, uh, Xavier Prats Monet, um, who emphasized that we have to stop thinking in silos um, and to overcome that sectoral uh, approach. And I think uh, you all will agree with me that it is very important uh, to hear uh, s such a message uh, from uh, um, officials uh, working for the European Commission. Uh, it means that we are in the one, uh, on the one path. And uh, with this hope that we are thinking in a one mindset, I would like to uh, give the floor to the uh, Commissioner, Mr. Navracic, for the closing speech of the conference. Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here and I would like to congratulate the Latvian Presidency for organizing this conference on culture and creative crossovers. And let me congratulate the Latvian Minister of Culture for organizing and being a mother of the Creativity Week here in Latvia. I think this is a very good example, a very good initiative uh, for all over in Europe we can have a lesson about that Latvian initiative to, to organize such uh, special events and series of events in, in order to raise the awareness of, of the importance of creativity and, and the creative industry. Because we are all very much aware of the direct contribution that culture makes to our economy and to our society as a whole. It contributes to our identity as Europeans. It fosters mutual understanding and participation and it is an important factor in defining Europe's place in the world. And we just talked about the, the importance of statistics, it, although it's not about a creativity index, but we have some statistical data. Approximately 4.4% 4, 4, 4 of Europe's gross domestic product is uh, made up by the contribution of the culture and 3.8% uh, of its workforce are employed in the culture and creative industry sector. But we also know that those figures could be higher, that Europe should do more to harness culture's potential to the full. There is a lot of untapped potential in the culture and creative sectors for boosting economic growth and job creation and for improving European citizens' well-being. This conference has considerably added to our understanding of the potential of culture. It has highlighted how the cultural and creative sectors can stimulate growth and innovation. And the main conclusion is that culture-based creativity can indeed help to find innovative solutions to many of the major challenges that Europe is facing today. Being at the crossroads between arts, business and technology, 
the cultural and creative sector can act as catalysts for change. We already have plenty of examples where creative design enhances the attractiveness of products. The iPhones and the Mercedes-Benz were just mentioned, but we can think of uh, other premium prices paid for Louis Vuitton handbags, for instance. But there are other effects that go even deeper. Firms in industries with stronger links to the creative industries do better with regard to innovation. They engage more in research and development, in design and innovative marketing. They are also more likely to introduce new products and services and to create high quality jobs. Cultural and, cri and creative crossovers help develop a blend of skills around creativity and entrepreneurship and promote critical and out of the box thinking. They bring intuition and imagination to the way we do business and to the way we organize our society. And all this matters because Europe must remain synonymous with quality, quality of cultural content, quality of industrial products, quality of public services, and quality of life. During this conference, you have also looked at how policymakers can support cultural and creative crossovers. This is essential. If Europe wants to remain competitive in the global race, it needs to put in place the right conditions for creativity and innovation to flourish in a new entrepreneurial culture. The Commission has been making the case for this kind of crossovers for years. For example, in its 2012 communication on the culture and creative sectors in the EU. Now, President Jean-Claude Juncker has asked me to promote culture as a catalyst for innovation. I intend to do this by addressing three main goals. Promoting cultural diversity, maximizing the contribution of the cultural and creative sectors to growth and job creation, and helping them to thrive in the digital single market. Concretely, I will focus on the following priorities. First, we will need to further strengthen cooperation between different policies at EU, national, regional, and local levels, breaking the silos, and strengthening connections between uh, culture and industrial policy, for example, but also education, tourism, or urban and regional development. Second, as already indicated in the 2012 communication, we need integrated strategies at national level. This is crucial to exploit the potential of the cultural and creative sectors. Third, to facilitate crossovers, it is important to create conditions that allow for better linking public interventions at national and regional level with a strong incentive to collaborate across sectors. Fourth, we need to further promote creative skills. Additional measures could be introduced to support the development of interdisciplinary skills and working processes. Finally, I will strive to put cultural diversity and creativity at the heart of our efforts to build a true digital single market in the EU. A genuine, open and accessible digital single market that respects the way the different cultural sectors finance themselves will be a great boost for European creativity. How can the EU help to finance implementation of these policies? For a start, the 315 billion euro investment plan the Commission has put on the tables can certainly benef benefit the many small and medium-sized businesses in the cultural and creative sectors. But we have several other tools in place to support cultural and creative crossovers by reinforcing interactions with other policy areas, in particular, the cross-sectoral strand of the Creative Europe program, sector skills alliances and knowledge alliances in Erasmus+, SMEs and IT innovation stands in Horizon 2020, business support actions within COSME, including the Enterprise Europe Network. Last, and far from least, instruments such as the EU Cohesion Fund, the European Fund for Regional Development, and the European Social Fund support innovation and smart investments 
in the cultural and creative sectors and their integration into regional smart specialization strategies. This clearly shows that the Commission will continue to promote cross-sectoral cooperation, mainstreaming culture in all relevant EU policies and actions in line with the treaties will remain a priority for us in the years ahead because cultural and creative crossovers have a major role to play to help Europe meet the economic and social challenges it is facing. I would again like to thank the Presidency and all the participants for this very valuable contribution. I'm confident that together we will be able to put these ideas into action. Thank you very much. We have great news. <laughs> lunch. We're about to finish uh, now for the lunch. Before we um, uh, call for the lunch, a couple of uh, uh, messages. After the lunch, we are going to continue with very, very interesting uh, optional or choices for you for the uh, continuation of your program. The first part of the program, the first option you have, is the, uh, another session on the crossovers to sustainable development. It's going to take place in this building on the 11th floor. Uh, Eva, where is Eva? Eva, come, come closer. So Eva is going to wait you close to where we're going to have a lunch uh, at uh, half past two. Yeah? Half past two, she's standing, waving. Everybody gather there and she will take you up to the 11th floor. Sorry? Quarter past two, well, quarter past two. If you say quarter past two, you mean half past two. That's the way it works. Um, so that's the first option. Who, what's the second option? Design thinking. Design thinking option. A lot of you have heard about design thinking. So there's a workshop on that. And um, who's the responsible person over there? Yes, yes, yes. Everyone making an eye contact. So there's going to be bus at half past two. Half past so that's, that's going to be half past two. And there's uh, one more bus, uh, yeah. ten, 10 past two, which will take to Academy of Arts. And there's an uh, additional conference happening on uh, heritage. design, heritage, and architecture. So many news uh, during the Ready Week. And there's the third workshop, or actually the field trip, that will guide you through Riga. You will get to experience uh, TIPS, LSP, Teddy, and the uh, uh, renewed uh, Riga School of Design and Art. Uh, the responsible person is Anna. Yes, uh, with a flowery dress, everyone sees you. Uh, after lunch, yeah, at quarter past two, you, you will meet Anna next to the flags in the atrium, right? Okay, so that's the field trip. And a very special offer for everyone, uh, all the guests and participants of the conference. Uh, the working hours of the uh, Museum of Decorative Arts and Design in Skarnia Street have been extended by two hours. So the museum is open up until 7 o'clock uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, feel free to visit. Uh, there's a fantastic exhibition uh, named Design uh, Humanization. Uh, it uh, really portrays the best of Latvia. So please feel free. And that's it from four of us. Uh, we've been enjoying every moment of it. But Remember that everything that we've been wearing, you can wear as well. <laughs> you can, even, you can even get the trousers from me right away, you know. Uh, uh, but we, our job here uh, has been nothing compared to the job of all these people that have put so much effort and energy in making this happen. These are the people from the uh, Ministry of Culture uh, working with this conference for over a year. So if I think you're all standing up there, or at least most of you. Could you please uh, wave and uh, stand up if you're the ones, just to show all of you. Okay?